thought process y'all bring in three racks to get on that song with y'all man also everybody contributes nothing but the best verses that they have what was that like going straight into that song knowing that okay we putting this but songs like thought process guess who of course soul food the title track album uh, live in the army um, show I gotta get his yeah, in there too yeah. I ain't mad at that I ain't mad at Sesame Street I'm about to name the whole album so it don't even matter to you so I got <laughs> you know good or bad my favorite damn song but when Andre comes in there on that thought process and he goes crazy as well man what was that like getting your outcast brother on your song what was that like getting your outcast brother on your song too what was that like getting your outcast brother on your song too and man, at that time, in that energy, it, I guess at that time, we kind of took it for granted a little bit. Not really took it for granted, but I would just it say- It was just another day in the lab. We were so much family. We were just so yeah. deeply embedded as the Dungeon family, just always around each other. Yeah. We were wrapped on their album. You know yeah. what I mean? So we was just waiting to see what they were going to do on our album. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Him and Big. And man, he came and dropped that thing, bro. When he dropped that that verse, though, mm -hmm. it, it was it was like they took they stopped the they stopped the music, man, yeah. on his verse. <laughs> That's how dope it was, yeah. bro. We, he didn't need no music to yeah. rap. Yeah. Not many folk you can stop the music on, man, on this song that they're gonna put out <laughs> for people to buy. Cut the music off and let this man keep rapping, bro. Come on. Hey man, it, it's it's such an honor when you look back and you realize who this dude is now. Yeah, you know what I mean. We didn't know he wasn't Superman Andre then. He was just he was Andre Benjamin to us. You know what I mean. He was Dre. You know he wasn't big time three stacks back then. We were all coming from the same and cut from the same cloth. Okay, answer me this, Timo. If this grown ass Timo could go back and whisper in that young ass Timo's ear before he even recorded Soul Food and got with the Dungeon family, what would he tell him that he was about to experience and see and how he needs to really grab hold of what the hell's going on? Or do you feel like you did the best you can with what the hell you had? Um, what I would tell myself is to don't take not one second for granted mm -hmm. and every opportunity that presents itself to you go go into the fullest mm. go all the way in mo good don't play with it buddy don't live like you think <laughs> something gonna come back next week or tomorrow folks you go in like you like it ain't coming back. Like you're not gonna get another opportunity man. And that's what I need to do. And that's what I say I can say after we, when we were doing the, um, the Fuji's tour, our Fuji's and Roots tour, one of our first tours. Yeah. You know, we, we, it was gruesome, man. We did, we did a lot, man. We were on the road, real like real rock star type yeah. stuff, man. I mean, on the road every night, living out the, out the uh, tour bus. Mm -hmm. It sound fun, it was fun, but you know, we got tired of it. You know, we wanted to go home, get in the bed, you know, sleep. <laughs> I got them butt beat on it. <laughs> shaking like this all the time. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> All night, and it's okay because we we on a mission. Yeah. You know what we had to do, we, what we trying to accomplish. But I sit back and think, the Fugees, I be real with myself, and I say they wanted us to go overseas with them mm. at that time. Yeah, we didn't go. Why? No Niggas was tired. <laughs> Cats just wanted to just rest, chill, and just kick it and live. We were young. We ain't, you know we ain't know. <laughs> We just like, man, just chill. We don't want to go on no tour right now. We do another tour. We do something else. We ain't got to do We didn't really realize this. How, they know what, what was going they, on. There wasn't nobody really telling us, like, hey, man, y'all need to be on this tour. This is yeah. important, man. We didn't have nobody in our ear telling us that at this time. You know, our management was kind of flowing with what we, what we said because yeah. it was hot at the time. You know, they were like, okay, y'all don't want, we'll set up some shows. And we had shows, don't get me wrong. Yeah. We ain't, we ain't sit around at home and do nothing. Yeah, exactly. So we get money. <laughs> get money. Yeah. And Come that on. was a part of it too. That was another big part of the tour. We weren't making no money on the tour. Okay. That's the biggest reason why we didn't want to keep going. Yeah, nobody want to keep on working for yeah, free. We were like making $500 a night. Yeah. Man, yeah. Between yeah. a whole four man band. Oh, hell no. With a bus, hotel rooms. What's that $500 going to do? 
It ain't gonna cover nothing. Get you know a nigga what I'm a Big Mac. Exactly, bro. <laughs> <laughs> we eat candy. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you gotta dry the apple tree, try okay. to nah, the Nah, yeah. boy. <laughs> hey, give me that mystery mix in there, baby. <laughs> <laughs> but I hey, feel for real, that. man. 